Good morning everyone, Daily Bible Reading. I'm going to read from 1 Samuel chapter 8. Um, 1 Samuel chapter 7 we saw the beginning of a thoroughgoing reformation, the worship of God, and in the administration of uh, the tabernacle uh, in, in the uh, situation where Samuel was judging Israel. We see here many years have passed. Uh, Samuel is old, he made his sons judges in Israel, and his sons, like the sons of Eli, were not good men. They weren't as good as he was. Uh, and they, um, it says in verse 3, walked not in his ways, but turned aside after liquor and took bribes and perverted judgment. Now, this is slightly confusing because when Hophni and Phinehas went wrong, then the Lord pronounced a terrible curse on the family of Eli forever. Uh, the children of Samuel go wrong, uh, Joel and Abiah, and no such curse is pronounced. Instead, the people are denounced for rejecting the rule of Samuel. Um, I think the explanation lies in the seriousness of their sin. Uh, firstly, the, the, these men were doing very bad things, but they were not perverting the worship of the tabernacle, which I think was the big thing um, that brought down the the remarkably extreme wrath of God on Hophni Phinehas and their father Eli. And also Samuel was not guilty at winking uh, at their wickedness. The, the implication here is that Samuel didn't know that they were taking bribes and perverting judgment. Um, but all the same, the people reject these two men, jo uh, Joel and Abiah, and they reject the continuing rule of Samuel. They ask for a king king is indeed in God's plan for Israel um, but uh, not at this point and the king who is called will not be the king who leads God's people in the way that they're meant to go. Uh, in any case, First Samuel chapter 8, this is God's word. And it came to pass when Samuel was old that he made his sons judges over Israel. And the name of the firstborn was Joel and the name of the second Abiah. They were judges in Beersheba. And his sons walked not on his ways, but turned aside after lucre, and took bribes, and perverted judgment. Then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together, and came to Samuel unto Ramah, and said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. But the thing displeased Samuel, when they said, Give us a king to judge us. And Samuel prayed unto the Lord. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people in all that they say unto thee, for they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. According to all the works which they have done since the day that I brought them up out of Egypt, even unto this day wherewith they have forsaken me and served other gods, so do they also unto thee. Now therefore hearken unto their voice, howbeit yet protest solemnly unto them, and show them the manner of the king that shall reign over them. And Samuel told all the words of the Lord unto the people that asked of him a king. And he said, This will be the manner of the king that shall reign over you. He will take your sons and appoint them for himself, for his chariots, and to be his horsemen. And some shall run before his chariots. And he will appoint him captains over thousands, and captains over fifties, and will set them to ear his ground, and to reap his harvest, and to make his instruments of war, and instruments of his chariots. And he will take your daughters to be confectionaries, and to be cooks, and to be bakers. And he will take your fields, and your vineyards, and your olive yards, even the best of them, and give them to his servants. And he will take the tenth of your seed and of your vineyards, and give to his officers and to his servants. And he will take your men servants, and your maid servants, and your goodliest young men, and your asses, and put them to his work. He will take the tenth of your sheep, and ye shall be his servants. And ye shall cry out in that day because of your king, which ye have chosen you. And the Lord will not hear you in that day. Nevertheless, the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel, and they said, Nay, but we will have a king over us, that we may also be like all the nations, and that our king may judge us, and go out before us, and fight our battles. And Samuel heard all the words of the people, and he rehearsed them in the ears of the Lord. And the Lord said to Samuel, Hearken unto their voice, and make them a king. And Samuel said unto the men of Israel, Go ye every man unto his city. Amen.